Okay, so ah, okay, we have time for one more question. We started a couple minutes late, so we'll we'll give it a shot. Um, the question is, how can you um, specify the last column, which is controlled by the slider? Okay, so I'll reopen that file. That was tree subset. So I think the question is, if I have a slider or two sliders saying that um, I want to have a certain number of rows and columns, let's say um, we'll review the trick that we showed for getting a slider that's integers between two values. So between one uh, current value of 8 and max value of 25, that will give me that integer slider. So I can connect this up and I'll do a duplicate into Y. So now we can control these, um, these two independently, the number and the X number Y. All right, and the question was, how do you get to the last column or the last row? All right, so and let's say you want to make it dynamic. I always want the last column or the last row. So I'll, let's see, I'll group some of this stuff because we'll be giving you these files. I'll clean it up a little bit before we send it to you. Um, so these are a couple different options. Those are our previews. I'll turn those off, slide them down. Okay, so now let's say I always want the last column and last column and last row. And I want to do this dynamically based on my slider. All right, well, if we looked back here at our split tree, right, that allows us to actually specify a mask. So does it meet this condition or this condition? So let's see, turn the preview on. That gave me that column and that row. All right, so let's see. I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to copy and paste and bring them up. Disconnect M. I want always to have the last column and last row and no others. Right? So what I need to do is I need to construct a little string that goes like this. Right? This is my mask to uh, query my data structure. Two star and one and star one. In this case, it's going to be I'm looking for the end, which would be four star or uh, star eight. That's because of the numbers I have here in my slider. So I need to somehow make those. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring in a panel. This is just going to store my star value. Say this is a second version, so we can just make this um, a little bit more clear. Get all those wires out of there. All right, so here's our star. We need to bring together the star with our sliders in order to create our two masks. What we're going to do that is we're going to go to set merge, and I need two of these merge objects. And the first one we said was to get the last row, star eight. So I'll take the star into D1, and my first slider, which is the number in the Y direction, EX. So this gives me star and eight as two uh, values coming out of here. I'll do the same for the other one, but I first want to do four into D1 and star into D2. All right, so with those two values, I should be able to create a mask by composing a data tree from scratch. So if I go to sets tree, I can do a create branch. No. All right. Scratch that. We're going to do a concatenate. Right? So this is going to be a way to bring together two strings. All right. So we're going to need star. We're going to need semicolon. So 
So first one is going to be concatenate, concatenate star, then semicolon, then zoom in, add an input, and eight. You do the same thing, reversing the inputs, using four. Star eight. And you'd actually also have to concatenate the curly brackets on either side. So what we're going to do is um, put a curly bracket at the beginning, right? of that one. This is a little bit longhand. And I'll look at a shorter way to do this um, and see if I can't add it to the files that we distribute afterwards. So that's close curly bracket. That gives me 0 star 8. Actually, I think it's because it's not the integer. All right, and then the same thing on the other side. And just to make sure that this is working right, I'm going to do an integer container. And I'm going to first run my 8 through it. There we go. Didn't like the 8.0. Wasn't converting it to an integer, even though it was coming out as an integer. All right, now that's definitely something that we'll shoot a line to David about. All right, so that concatenates all of that for the first mask. So you just need to do that again. Um, we need... <clears throat> open curly to A, then the 4 input, then the, here we can do all this together, uh, semicolon, star, and close curly bracket. Now we have the last row and column no matter how big our grid is in the X and the Y. That was a great question. A little hurdle there with the concatenate, but um, I think there's an easier way to do it. So I'll look into it, and maybe we'll post that to our Facebook page or something. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and, um, and talk about what you can do next.